Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video on my latest edition. Uh, just got done um, building my AR-15. It's actually a half build. I only built the uh, lower, the upper I bought complete. So let me show you what I've got here. <clears throat> there she is. All done. I actually finished this uh, probably about a month ago. Um, took her out to the range every single weekend since I've had it, and uh, it's just, it's incredible, it's awesome. Absolutely love it, this is my second AR-15, my first one was a Delton um, DTI, which I actually, uh, there's a video uh, on my channel about it, but it's a quick video. Just like this one will be, I don't want to bore you guys. Anyway, just to give you a quick um, review of the parts that I used, let me move in a little closer here. Okay. Okay. So back here for the stock, I use the Magpul CTR stock. Um, went with this instead of the MOE stock, which I had on my Delton. Um, I really like the friction locking system right here. Uh, basically, you can move this to your desired position. Click on a friction lock, and there's barely, there's, I mean, there's no movement whatsoever. Um, and also... Uh, the other difference is this sling attachment point. I still need to get a sling for this. Um, I'm still working on that. i got to try out different ones. I'm not sure what I'm going to go with just yet. Anyway, Magpul CTR stock right here. Uh, chose the Ergo Grip. Um, again, uh, for comparison, I had the Magpul Mo Grip before. I liked it, but it's just not as comfortable as, as this one right here. This, uh, I, I just I love this grip. It just makes it so easy just comfortable to, 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 you know, to shoot and just to kind of, you know, when I'm carrying it, uh, it's just, uh, I really, really like this grip a lot. Um, it also has space for storage in here. Um, the only thing I've got in there is a um, cleaning cloth for my scope, which I'll get to here in a minute. I uh, used a Magpul Enhanced Trigger Guard right there. Now, I bought the lower stripped, and um, what I did is I ordered the Spikes Tactical uh, Lower, the Enhanced Lower Parts Kit that I used, um, I, um, the trigger is just incredible, it's crisp, it's smooth, um, it's very, very uh, short, and I really, really like it. In comparison, again, to uh, my other AR-15, it just makes such a huge difference, and I absolutely love it. Um, also chose to have the color fill on the selector switch right here, um, as you can see. I do wish it went that way, but it doesn't. Um, and I chose to, um, keep the spider just black, just the way it is. All right. Got a couple PMAGs for it. Just so you guys know, um, I did a safety check before the video. I don't, um, I just, you know, with one hand holding the camera, uh, didn't feel like doing one right now, but just so you know, um, this is safety checked. Okay. Let's now look at the upper. Now this upper I bought complete. Um, it's a Spikes Tactical uh, M4 LE with a nine inch bar rail. And I absolutely fell in love with this when I saw it on uh, one of my friend's ARs. I just, it's so light um, and I just love the, the look of it. So I decided to put my money aside as this was probably the most expensive part of the gun. Um, uh, I think it ran me like $660 just for the upper. and. Um, but, you know, I, 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 this is exactly what I wanted. So, uh, you know, although it took me about a year to get this completed, uh, it was well worth it. I put in the vertical, the Magpul vertical grip. Um, I had to move it a couple times just until I got the perfect position. Also have the Magpul backup sights here. Now, I had these on before I bought the scope. Um, and that's basically what I used probably the first couple weeks uh, shooting it. So they're still on there. Um, I know a lot of people say, well, why do you need backup sights when you're using a scope and not a red dot? But um, I just have them on there. I, um, you know, sometimes I feel like taking a scope off and just, uh, you know, and just shooting with them. Now, as for the scope, I bought a Nikon M223. It's a 1-4 uh, by 20. So it's got 4x magnification, but it is also a true 1x. Uh, excellent, excellent scope. The glass is clean. 
um, and I absolutely love this scope. I got a great deal on it from Midway USA. They were having a sale um, that actually when you bought the scope, you got the mount for free. Just so you guys know, the mount usually runs anywhere from 90 to 100 bucks, so that was uh, I couldn't pass it up. Uh, I was actually not going to buy anything just yet. I was just going to use the backup sights for a while, but then saw that they were having a sale and decided to jump on it. Um, also got a BCM extended charging handle. Uh, I actually just got that recently because I found that with the scope, it was very hard for me to kind of reach in here and grab it. So I got the extended, there you go, the extended charging handle. Let me see if I can show you guys. Yeah, there it is. Hopefully you can see that. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'm sure I probably missed a bunch of stuff, but uh, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of my AR-15. Uh, please let me know any questions that you may have. I really, really, truly enjoy shooting this, um, and uh, you know, it's I, I'm just I'm glad it's finally done. I love it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, please comment. Uh, you know, any comments, questions are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. Bye.